Now it's time to press buttons and talk with Maggie and Rosie D. Maggie's Mysteries. Does a key taste like an Oreo if you dip it in milk? Hey, you got yeah. things. You got a thing too. I'm Gumshoe, and I've got Gumshoe's capers. Oh yeah. How? What? How's how's a Gumshoe caper go? Well, it's a you put them on a bagel. It's like kind of like a little savory kick. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Follow the Twitter. What did you mean by you use the master key? Oh, I, I had to use it to open the door for this prosecutor who had forgotten his key. And also, I sometimes I'm caught. Ow. I mean, it's my job as a security guard, right? I'm really into feathers right now. It's kind of my thing right now. Ah! What is it? That's right, I just remembered. The prosecutor who forgot his key... It was Mr. Portsman, sir, How that's... How did you forget you just saw him? Yeah, I don't know why this just occurred to me. What? Please tell me more, Miss Bird. Quickly. Actually, now that I think Hurry about up. it, he's almost definitely guilty. <laughs> There's no way he's not. This is incredibly Yo, suspicious. Yo, that guy's definitely a fuck. Like, can we all just, like, say that? He's definitely... Oh, he's definitely a fuck. It was around 12 a.m. Mr. Portsman had forgotten his office key, so he came down to security, sir. And that's when you loan the master key to him. Don't point at me, it's intimidating. I no do way. I want. It's against your hand is huge. I'm, it is very compare your hands it is to the mine. Size of your head. You've got some yaoi hands there, sir. I could crush your he head in my hand like that's, a grape. That's your hand is way bigger than my head. <laughs> it's about the same size. It's against regulations to loan the master key out to anyone. I walked by or I walked with Mr. Portsman to his office and opened the door for him personally, sir. You know what they say about someone with big hands. You know what Wright what? says about someone with big hands. No? I see. What did they say? Uh, don't yeah, worry what did they it. say? You don't brought it up. No, I, nothing. Okay. Uh, gumshoes capers. What, gumshoes what, capers. What, what, what does that thing? mean? What's Edgeworth talking about? And then what happened after that? Well, he called. My he called for me button, to. Or my partner button. He called for me to come close, close up his office as he was leaving to go home. Made it through. That was around 1.30 a.m., I think. So, in summary, for the sake of one forgetful prosecutor, you used the master key twice tonight. A lot of mileage out of this key. Talk about suspicious. What a fuck. Can we just put him in jail already? Yeah, I think so. I doubt you can say that you've never left your keys at a home, detective. I think this calls for a thorough ex examination of Mr. Portsman's door. Uh, let's look let's at his door. Let's go look at the door. How many rules does his office have? Uh, uh, here we are at the One, door. One, only I don't get to do sports. Okay. I won't rest, blah, 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 blah. Uh, oh yeah, this is... Okay, let's look at the keyhole. The door is locked tight. Hey, I bet the old credit card trick wouldn't work here, huh, Mr. Edgeworth? You shouldn't be doing that anywhere. This oh, is I the do office all the time. Of a high prosecutor detective. There's so much freedom, you can go anywhere. These doors would be pretty ineffective if the average cat burglar could get through them. Oh, he's like, hey, you, get out of here. And I'm like, oh, uh, I'm out. Aha, so I guess only a great cat burglar could get in. That must be who our culprit is. Might I advise you to return that conclusion to whatever pawn shop you bought it from? I just thought of it Jesus. in my head. I, this, this is what I'm talking. This is an example, like right there. You're just kind of room one two oh three. I take it that this is Mr. Portsman's office. Yeah, you can't mistake it because of that basketball hoop, sir. Oh, oh that reminds me, Mr. Portsman had actually wanted room twelve oh two really badly, but since you were already occupying it, Mr. Edgeworth, we put him next door, sir. So why was Mr. Portsman so particular about getting room 1202? I'm not sure, but I bet it's because of something like his birthday is December 2nd. I don't fucking know. I'm just spitballing. Yup, that's gotta be it. I can't think of another reason why. I can think of at least three. Bah, <laughs> why am I even wasting time thinking about this? this? I'm so good at thinking. That is kind of his whole- why doesn't he have like a giant brain statue outside of his- That'd be great. Uh, did we get anything from that? Mm, no. Uh, it said to- Try the edge. The, door. the edge of Edgeworth. the door. Uh... Minimalist yet classy door made of top quality wood. It's kind of majestic too. Fits in really well with the ambiance of the prosecutor's offices. Even Mr. Portsman seems dignified just because he works behind one of these. Nonsense. A man doesn't become more or less dignified because of where he works. 
Well, he still seems more dignified than Mr. Payne. Who that? That guy sucks. Mr. Payne? But, uh, oh, <laughs> I suppose custodial work can also be dignified. But guys, I'm right wow, they, here. They, they made the same joke I did. Right in front of you. What is this? Basketball hoop. Oh. It's Mr. Portsman's personal basketball hoop that he just stares at all day. I can't believe he put something like this in the hallway of a prosecutor's office. But, you know, it's actually pretty useful, sir. I haven't gotten lost trying to get to your office since it's been there, it's very obvious. How long have I had the same office and yet you still manage to get lost? It takes me hours every time I come here. Hours? Navigating this labyrinth in uh, hellscape. I don't see anything. Is there the hinge? Uh, that's the only other thing that stands out. No. no. Why'd you tell me look at the door if it's like... Why do, what are we doing here? <laughs> like, we haven't... Did we get something? Did we get logic or something? Uh, okay. The key was used to unlock and lock his office at 12 a.m. 12 a.m. and 1.30. Uh, it was missing from 1 to 2.30. Okay. Oh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, the master key was gone from 1 a.m. until 2.30. Right. So how was it used to unlock his office at 1.30? Uh... That's logic. Yeah, that's interesting. Connect these keys. Supernova. Ms. Byrne, I'm afraid there's a flaw in your story. Fuck. What? No way, pal. I mean, sir. You said you only say that to me. You said that you locked up Mr. Portsman's office at around 1.30 a.m., correct? However, the master key had already been stolen at that time. Wow. Nothing gets by you, Mr. Edgeworth. You saw that contradiction like a pro. I am a pro. It's like you do it for a job or I something. Do. I had totally forgot yeah. all about that, but thanks to you, I remember it now. You're right. It was around that very time that I realized the master key was missing. And? Well, I'm a security guard, sir. Not for much longer. Uh, probably not. I couldn't just admit to losing the master key, could I? That's true. You're admitting it to me. Maybe I'm the problem. Yeah. Maybe that's why my life is so bad. So I I pretended to lock up his room, <laughs> sir. Just, right. I don't give a shit anymore. I'm definitely you, not working here anymore. You're so. definitely not, and you pretended. I steal from every safe that I come across. Yeah, I used my house key and made it look like I was locking up, sir. So in... Holy shit. <laughs> so in actuality, you never did relock the door then. Uh, whoops. Well, I thought maybe I could go lock it after I found the key. Come to think of it, I guess the door still hasn't been locked properly. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, that's weird. Uh, should be fine. Uh, so I think I can deduce now? Oh, wait, not oh, not with that spot. I didn't- I forgot it was a spot thing. Go to your organizer. Uh, okay, what did we get? So what do we just learn? Uh, unlock, unlock the door. The door the master master key was stolen, so, so she could, she not, could lock not lock it, it up. So go to the look. Examine the thing again. Is it? It's locked right now, right? Uh. Story. Yeah, it's yeah, locked. Okay, so. yeah. So that's contradicto. Hmm. That's how did you lock the door? Is the spot somehow? If connected? she didn't actually lock the door, she locked it like a fake mime. Uh. She could not lock. You're the right, cop. Okay, I don't There's know. There's a contradiction here. It's sticking, I think, between reality and the evidence. Listen, Eureka is cool. Mm, I don't know. About I don't know. You had keep searching. Shut up. If what Miss Bird has said is true, then why is this door locked you tight? Sound like a wizard or something, huh? You know, you're right. Well, like a mad scientist, Miss Bird. Are you sure you didn't relock this door? It's like Albert Einstein. I am certain of it, sir. He is my hero. And I don't- oh, he's mine, too. The theory of relativity really revolutionized our conception of reality. Huh. And I don't think Mr. Portsman noticed it himself that I hadn't. Which means... What, sir? It either means that he actually does have the key to his office, or that the door Ms. Bird opened wasn't this one at all, but a completely different one. She opened a- she, uh, you, Sorry? Do you want to say it? Yeah, she opened a different door? But how can you prove that? What am I even here for? I mean, I'll, I'll just go home if you can just... <laughs> There's an easy way to find out. All we need to do is... You're better gumshoe than I am. We need to examine these. Uh, prints on the key, prints on the knob. Prints, prints on the number, on the number, number plate, probably, right? Uh, did they fuck around with it? The prints on the number plate, they will tell us all that we need to know. Everything? Really? Like what, sir? Oh. Oh, yeah, maybe mind. not. Uh... 
Oh, wait, they're bantering. Wow, it's amazing. Banter, banter, something banter, banter, about banter, dinner. Banter, banter, banter. Oh, man, you got me dunked on. Sorry. As always. Uh, what is the question? Uh, on the doorknob. Oh, wait, I don't know what the lead up dialogue was for this. We need the prince on the. Oh, doorknob. Yeah, right. doorknob. Uh, oh, yeah, because whoever. Because then we'd it. see if they actually touched this door. The prince on the doorknob will tell us everything. Hey, you. Yeah, you, pal. Do us a favor and see what you can lift from this, okay? Okay. So, what did you find out? There's no need for such belligerent nostril flaring, detective. My nostrils are flaring. Sir, I have found only Mr. Portsman and Mr. Faith's prints on this doorknob. Can I call you Dick? Can I call no, you Dick? No, no. So only two people's prints were found on this, huh? And that's pretty decisive. You may not call me anything. Don't talk to me. Huh? I'm lost, sir. Thinking logically, a certain other person's prints should be on this knob as well. Now then, whose prints should- who did they say who was on uh, it? Yeah, I totally missed that. Well, uh, it should be, uh... Was it his prints that we just- Oh yeah, we totally missed- oh, This man. game really needs like, what dialogue did they just say? It should be- Yeah, having a log would be nice. It would be Maggie and him, right? Right, so Jacques, right? Uh, I forget who- did he say Maggie or Jacques? I think- I think she said- I think he said Maggie. Okay, then probably. it's Jacques, or we're just dunk- yeah, we're dunk- dunk asses, we don't read. <laughs> okay, yeah, They're okay. like, what are you- well, Guys, don't I know. skip it again! What? Okay. Oh, wait, uh... Oh, I just skipped it again. But it would be- it would be Maggie then, right? Yeah. Uh... Don't you find it odd that I completely fucked that up the first time, and that the prints of the person who unlocked this door are absent? You having a stroke, sir? You mean, uh... Yes, the door that Miss Bird opened could not have been this one, but a different one. There's more doors? More doors. More Before. Do Cast the ring into There's a lot of lore about doors. Hmm? What have we here? Oh, now we I, well, I can scroll down, so... I won't rest until I've inspected every suspicious-looking nook and cranny. Basketball? Just, just gets, like, set off by it. Like, oh, I, 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 won't, won't I won't rest. I won't rest. What? I will not sleep. Looks like a scrap of paper. I'll get it, sir. I'm Finally, very good sleep. at crouching. Let's see. Oh, there's something written on it. Dear pb and I watch your channel every day. Hmm. It looks like a note from the victim. Yeah, and it's for Mr. Portsman. Uh, cool. I was- I thought they might read it out loud, but let's see what this actually says. I brought, brought the, the three pieces of evidence by just like we talked about on the phone, but it looks like you're out. Yes, I'll catch you up to you later. Buddy. 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 Uh, there's a basketball. Hey, Let's, there's a basketball. Hey, there's that basketball. Is this basketball property of Mr. Portsman? Yes, sir. He's always ready for a match, and yet when you challenge him, he just... He goes, oh, sorry, I got a... I got a meeting. Basketball, soccer, dodgeball, tennis, doesn't matter what sport it is, he will not play. He will absolutely bail. Don't care what, how much text the game throws at us, he does not play sports. Although, I think it'd be a little hard to play tennis with this ball. Oh, <laughs> it's the wrong kind of ball. I would lo it'd be a lot easier. That isn't the point you should be focusing on. Tennis detective. with a basketball? You can hit it very <laughs> I think hard. it would. Uh, Maybe it'd be pretty difficult. I think actually. it would destroy your racket like immediately. Not with a super racket. Oh, I I've think given this some a thought. Super racket. You're right, sir. Now I know what I should be focusing on saving up for a super racket. Bad Mr. Portman. Someone should teach him to clean up his toys after he's done playing. It's been a very bad boy. I think we've reached the end of this conversation, especially the really bad boy part. Yeah, I don't know that I guy. I guess weird. I think that's everything. There's... Is this shifted somehow? It looks like it's not. Yeah, there's like uh, a spot. Oh, I see. No. Uh, what are you looking at, sir? Oh, hey, how about a game? That's okay, detective. I just found the position of this hoop to be a little off. That's like a sportsman excuse. Hey, you're right, sir. I guess it shifted when someone made a seriously sweet slam dunk. And it definitely wasn't Portsman. The positioning of the hoop is definitely unnatural. I'd better take note of this. Okay. Somebody. This is not league regulations. Uh, so probably can, can we go to him now, right? To Mr. Portman. 
Uh, did we get any new logic or anything? Oh, I guess we could do that too. Uh, no, we just got no. gun. Let's go fuck him up. Let's go fuck him up. I won't rest. Oh wait, is this the? This, no, this is, is a, a different door. door. Okay. I guess look. Would there be anything to? Twelve o two. These four numbers on a number plate alone proclaim this to be my office. Whoops. Hey, these number plates slide right out, sir. They have to be able to take the plate off when a room becomes vacant, you know. Although, the idea that it could be so easily removed is kind of fucked. But why would anybody, like, fuck with why that? Why would anyone do that? Under any normal circumstances. Uh, this door is dope uh, as shit. Thing. Okay. It's really quite a dope-ass door. Uh, I guess they just consistency. Yes, they just want they you to look at to... doors. Uh, okay. Try talking to Maggart. 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 Uh, no, that's all four. I don't think there's anything that I... What was this new thing? We got the note and the basketball. Wait, hold on. Uh, go back. No, maybe not. Uh, uh, try talking to Bagel. Bagel Cop? Do you have anything? No, no, no I'm my way oh, myself. Yeah, same way conversation. Was pretty good. Pain, you're probably just... Yeah. I'm in this game. I have to be in every game. It's me. You're... Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, the the wait wasn't there gonna be like a deduce or we already did, we already did that right? Uh yeah. Okay. Try uh. Try the sofa again or the the seat. Was there something else on the seat maybe that I could have? Oh, he always said since he gave that message, I think that means like it's not. Yeah. I already checked this area. That, is there is there something on here that I haven't? Okay, I think that means there's something, but I don't know yeah, what. Yeah, must be. What Try the be? thing above it. Is uh, there something above it, that white thing? Nah, it doesn't go up that high. Oh, okay. Uh, you can't move down, right? Uh, you already no, looked at the lock. The option is not here. I looked at this. Try the hinge. I don't know. Oh wait, wait. Let me look at the other. So that says twelve o two. Yeah. This says. Okay, so this is done. So something on this door. I'll just check. There's not that many things, so it has to be the hinge. Nope. No, I I did the doorknob before, but maybe I just clicked it wrong. I don't see any signs of forced entry. I thought I clicked on it. I guess it was on the door. And according to the guard, no signs that the lock was picked either, sir. Meaning that the door was really really was open with a key. What a novel concept. Hmm. Did you happen to ask if any prints were lifted from the doorknob? Apparently, the doorknob's clean as a whistle. White, they think. Well, whoever this thief is, they did a good job of not leaving any clues behind. No clue left behind. That was the last piece wow. of evidence Wow, maybe to next time at. we'll get our juice back and uh, kick some ass. And that was some vitamin C. Kill a portman.